Hey guys, Garage Sailor Vaughn here, and I'm going to show you my finds from September 8th and September 15th. And I'm also going to show you some other stuff that I've picked up uh, throughout the last uh, couple weeks. On September 8th, I'll show you uh, that stuff that I picked up first. I paid $3 for this woman's blouse. It is a uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren, size 8, women's uh, red long sleeve shirt. And um, it's in perfect condition. I don't know if it, these clothes were ever worn or if so, then they were worn very, very gently because they look brand new. So I paid $3 for this. My estimate is that this is going to sell for between $10 and $15. And the next thing at the same garage sale, I got another Ralph Lauren. Say the tag, it's even the same size, but it's like a long dress thing. So I also paid $3 for this uh, dress, and I'm estimating that it's also going to sell between, well, $10 and $20. So hopefully the higher number. And lastly for September 8th, I got this. This right here, this suit. It includes the jacket and the matching pants, and they're both uh, look brand new. So you can see the pants still have a, well they look brand new, I mean there's no flaws in them whatsoever. So there's the pants and the jacket, and they are both also Ralph Lauren. So I got uh, the pants and this jacket also for three dollars so I spent nine dollars total on all this Ralph Lauren stuff so it's kinda like a tester and uh, we'll see how it does if it does really well then I'll continue to buy this kind of stuff and if not then oh well I just won't buy it anymore but I have a feeling it'll do pretty well so the jackets and pants this uh, suit combo I'm estimating is gonna sell for between 20 and 30 dollars for the pair my total uh, for everything was nine dollars and I'm thinking I'm probably gonna be able to get maybe 50 or 60 dollars for uh, everything I got so we'll see how it is and next we'll switch over to September 15th and I only picked up a few things there's this kid and he's standing out of this garage sale and he has this out just like a little pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards for two dollars so I just felt like obligated to buy it <laughs> but uh, I took them out and I looked and uh, there is a mint condition Exodia head and anybody that uh, ever collected Yu-Gi-Oh cards knows that this is like the card get so I mean I think just this card alone is gonna sell for $25 or something like that. I've sold it before. I don't really remember. So it was uh, $2 for all of them. <laughs> and I think this is the best thing that I picked up on uh, Saturday the 15th. So that was kind of a funny story. And the next thing is this long sleeve flannel. It is a boys, not a men's, but a boys. And it is Fox. And I've sold a lot of Fox stuff, and Fox stuff always always does really well so this um flannel was only a dollar and my estimate is like ten to fifteen dollars probably probably a no problem uh, sell so only a dollar so really really good find it's amazing like I really could care less about buying clothes but I don't know I just I always seem to find the stuff that I know will sell well so that's what I've been purchasing more than anything lately and the next thing just really fast is at the same garage sale it was only a dollar and it is this billabong uh, shirt small boy shirt and billabong stuff always I mean that's no no problem sell it's in great condition doesn't have any problems so it was only a dollar and I'm sure it'll sell for like 10 bucks something like that and now let's move on to the random things I've been purchasing. So I'll start off with the shirt. Um, oh, it's all closed, by the way. So this is the first shirt I got. Um, anybody knows anything about Obey clothes? They always, I mean, they're 
the easiest thing ever to sell on eBay. And so this is an Obey size medium boy, uh, men's Obey shirt. I paid $2 for this shirt and my estimate is that it's definitely going to sell for an easy $15 to $20. So let me introduce everybody to my cat. Uh, that's Juva. And she, I think I kicked her out of the room, I think 10 times since I started making this video. And she is determined to be up on my bed with me. So, so yeah, there she is. She'll probably look at the camera. I don't know. I also had another shirt that I got um, also for $2. And it would have sold for um, 10 to $15 as well. It was a plain Hurley shirt. Uh, really nice. So I gave that to my friend. So no profit on that. Just a um, $2 less, I guess. But still, it was a good find. Now we will jump over to the more exciting things. First up are these shorts. They're huge and not really attractive at all. But as you can see, they are... Lucky Brand, and those of you guys who are subscribed to my channel and have been watching know that I get a lot of Lucky Brand stuff. Even though Lucky Brand doesn't seem to do great, it's just a $15, $20 thing, but it does get a lot of bids. Um, unlike other brands like uh, Diesel, which, I mean, my last pair of Diesel jeans that I've sold sold for like $55 or something, bid up from $0.99, cents, I believe. These are Lucky Brand Premium twill cargo shorts and uh, I paid four dollars for these and they're gonna sell for between fifteen and twenty dollars next up is another pair of lucky jeans I don't really think I need to unfold these they're uh, pretty simple blue jeans they're in really good condition uh, as you can see they don't have any um, problems with the uh, bottom or anything uh, I think they're like new so I got these for only uh, $6, and in this condition, they're going to have no problem selling for $15 to $25. And next are some men's Rock and Republic jeans. Rock and Republic, and they are 100% uh, genuine for sure. I'll show you the uh, tag in the inside just to make sure you guys know. Uh, Okay, so here's the tag, tells you all the uh, important information, um, yeah, so these jeans were six dollars, and I know you guys may be thinking, six bucks for used jeans, that's crazy, but, uh, I actually don't even think they're used, I think these are like new, so my estimate is that these jeans are going to sell for anywhere between 25 and 30 dollars on eBay just as uh, you see them right now. I'll give you guys another little close-up of the jeans The next pair of jeans I got for six dollars are these These are diesel jeans. They're called Onyo something like that um, Italia blue jeans uh, waist 32 and they're made in Italy and um, my estimated uh, sale price is anywhere in between 40 and 60 dollars so only paying six bucks for a pair of jeans like this and it's selling for 40 to 60 that's an amazing profit so I'm I'm really excited about these jeans so they have like the zipper thing it looks like they're broken but um, I believe they're all just like that the classic diesel uh, small pocket logo and then they have this pattern in the inside of the jeans and this is the tag right here and with the Italian colors because it was made in Italy and here are the tags in the inside diesel tag and uh, what it's made of tag and instruction tag and I don't know bunch of tags and these are what the uh, back of the jeans look like and quick show you the front of the jeans so yeah they look like pretty simple jeans and uh, I'm really excited that they have a uh, selling price as high as they do 
So my favorite find of that day are these jeans right here. And these are another pair of diesel jeans. So you can see it says on the back. And that's what the pocket looks like. More of a classic uh, look than the other ones. So here is the tag right here. And um, I'll tell you a little bit of description of the jeans that I wrote down so I don't forget. And these are diesel jeans, Zatni blue jeans. Uh, they're waist 33 and these are made in Germany. And I paid $6 for them and my estimate is that they're going to sell for anywhere from 40 to $80. So these are a very desirable pair of jeans and I was really excited when I looked these up. Um, so I'll uh, let you guys know what they ended up selling for. And if I forget to uh, update the video, um, just remind me and I will let you know exactly how much they ended up selling for. So, yeah, very exciting. 80 bucks for something I paid $6 for. And just really quickly, I picked up two more pairs of jeans yesterday. Um, they're not... I didn't get a full description out of them like I did the other jeans, but I will... I did look them up enough to uh, give you guys an estimate on what they're going to sell for. So these are, they look like they've been worn, but these are purposely done for looks, I guess. And I believe these jeans are brand new. Um, so yeah, these are another pair of lucky jeans, and my estimate is that they're going to sell for $35. And yes, I paid uh, $6 for these jeans. I know you guys are probably pretty sick of jeans by now, but I also paid $6 for these jeans. And these are a really good looking pair of diesel jeans. You can see the diesel logo, classic pocket. Uh, I was really, really excited about these. Very, very excited. So here is the back pocket. And the this pocket. You can see the front, the button clasp right here, um, the inside, I mean, it just shows quality like crazy. And here are the tags on the inside, size 32. So yeah, $6 for these jeans. These will go for $75 on eBay. So I don't even know why I even try selling other things because clothes just seem to do the best everybody needs them so yeah all in all it's a uh, quite a profit for um, just clothes thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe thank you